Welcome back to Zachary's Travel. I'm so glad you joined me for another quick video on travel. I'm so happy to see your beautiful traveling face. Maybe you're a new traveler, maybe you've been traveling around for a while. This channel is dedicated to help you find great deals, travel and style on a budget, learn about things like how to fly, where to fly, the tips and tricks, where to go, where to eat, what to do, all the stuff that I learn as I travel, I'm bringing to you here free on this channel just for you so you can travel better in style on a budget. Here we go. You wanna to go to the airport maybe because of COVID-19 or 2020 being crazy or maybe you just like to drive yourself and have control over your time and your schedule, which is what I like to do. I do Uber and I've taken car services. Um, I've done Lyft. I've had family pick me up and drop me off and I've done the parking. So I've kind of done it all and I've done parking at the airport and I've done the third party parking. So this video is gonna be all about digging into all of that, giving you some tips and tricks kind of helping you get there on time and know what to watch for. So let's start off with number one, parking at the airport. It's the most ideal situation. You get to decide when you leave your house, how long it's gonna take you to get there based on how fast you drive, how close you are to the airport. You also get to decide where you're gonna park. Now parking directly at the airport speeds up the time because you're right at the terminal. So you can pull in, you know, walk right across to the airport, get in. Uh, most airports are set up like this where you do not have to shuttle or wait on a shuttle and all that stuff on the direct airport parking. So when you get there, find a parking spot that's not one hour parking and that is long term parking so you don't get towed or ticketed or anything like that. Once you find that, look around as you drive around into the parking garage. Every airport's a little different but most of them will tell you what the gate number is and terminal number so you can park close to where you are going to go. And so you wanna get as close as you can to where you're headed, especially in a big airport like Dallas or Atlanta, um, LA, New York, anywhere like that, you want to be as close as you can to the terminal you're going to. So find that, watch the signs, and find a parking place close to that and close to the elevators because you may have to go down or up with all your luggage. You don't wanna be going downstairs especially if you have check-ins and all that kind of stuff. Um, so be mindful of the signs and be mindful of the elevators. And once you find a parking space, take a picture. Every airport has letters and numbers and usually gate numbers and stuff on signs on the post. So you can kind of like, it's like wayfinding, it's directional so you know where you parked at. So I always take a picture close to my car. It may not be directly in front or behind your car, but somewhere around there. And then I always take a picture at the elevators because it always has some signage and usually color coding too as well. And that just kind of, if, if I'm on a long trip, maybe a week or two and I'm really busy, maybe I don't hold that in my mind and I just have a picture as a backup in case I forget to make sure because as soon as you think you're not gonna forget, you will forget and then you'll get home tired and you'll be like, where's my car? And it's like a maze if you don't have some kind of direction of where to go and how to find your car. So take a couple pictures. There's all kinds of apps too that can help you track your parking if you're into that. So now when you go across the street or through the tunnel or whatever it may be to get into the airport, again, look around. Are you on the departure level where there's baggage claim? Are you on the arrival letter where they're ticketing and taking your bags and security? Look around, look for visual cues, maybe even take a picture there. That will give you an idea when you exit the airport, when you come back and you're ready to go to your car, kind of where you need to be to get to your car. Trust me on this, I've been there and I've flown so many times for years now and I still, if I don't do this and I'm not careful and I'm in a hurry, will spend, uh, I've spent an hour looking for my car before just because I, it's, it can be huge in the airport, massive. You may be one or two stories up and think you're two stories down, you, you can forget, it's, just, it's an amaze. So take these tips because this will save you a lot of time and hassle. Okay, tip number two is parking in a third party parking lot. Now, if you wanna save some money, you can always look on the airport parking website and they usually will have discounts for the main parking, but it is always cheaper to go to a third party parking lot like ParkSpot. Um, there's always, most airports have third party parking spots that are outside the airport and they shuttle you to your terminal. 
Now, the downside of this is you have to find it. You have to park there. You have to wait on a shuttle and you have to wait for the shuttle, you know, to drive very slowly to the airport and all that can be add time to your day and to your schedule. So you got to value time over money. Also, when you get back, you got to go to a specific place usually to pick up the shuttle. So that's a lot of walking and then wait for the shuttle and then the shuttle slowly takes you back and then it has to drop everybody off at their cars and you finally get to your car and get out and you, all that stuff. So look on their websites. They usually have really good discounts if you're trying to save money or you're gonna park for a long time. And that's just something you, that will help you out. I've done it. Look for covered parking. Make sure it's in a good area so you're safe and your car is safe. Um, I've never had any issues. I just prefer now to park directly at the airport or Uber or take a car service so I can get right to the airport. Um, so that's, that's that tip. It's pretty easy. You get on their website, you can even prepay so you don't have to deal with any kind of issues. You can usually find coupons and discounts to really bring that price down. And some of them even offer like washing your car service and stuff like that. I, I wouldn't recommend that, but it is an option if you like that. So number three, um, if you're not gonna park at the airport, you can always look at Uber and Lyft as an alternative. I really recommend that you don't take their low base Ubers and Lyfts because they're not background checked. There's no security. There's no protection, especially for girls. Please be careful. If you take an Uber, take an Uber Black or take an Uber or Lyft um, Premium or whatever it's called, they're background checked. They're licensed drivers. They will not you know, harm you or at least your chances are really, really low. So be, be always be mindful of that and be careful when you're taking just random car services. And of course, you always have the licensed limo uh, drivers that um, can come to your house. They're normally not in limos anymore. It's more like a town car or something or SUV. But you always have that. They're licensed, background checked, and they have a reputation, a legitimate business, and all that stuff. I've used them when um, I flew for business every week. I just wanted the same guy to come get me um, and pick me up. And that, you know, you just build that relationship and kind of know that they're gonna be there for you and they're gonna pick you up and get you there on time and stuff. So I've done all of that, that is an option, but this video is about parking at the airport, so back to those options. If you're gonna park, give yourself at least 30 minutes more time because you're gonna to have to get there, especially if you've never parked before, but even if you have, you gotta find a parking place. You might not be as close as you would like to be, you've gotta get out carry your luggage through the elevator or down the path or whatever it is to get into the airport. It's just a little bit more time consuming than being dropped off at the curb and walking right in. Same with the third party parking. Give yourself about 45 minutes extra because you've got to get there. You, the shuttle may take 10 or 15 minutes to get to you. You just want some extra room there so you don't miss your flight. I hope this video helps you. Please leave comments below. If you have questions, I'll be happy to answer those and I can cover those in another video. Hit that subscribe button. If you're not a subscriber to Zach has Travel, we're gonna have amazing videos here for you of gear and where to travel and travel tips and how to make your traveling experience the best. And that will be it for us today. It's beautiful to see your beautiful faces. I hope you are traveling and having a blast, even though it's 2020. And I will catch you in the next Zach has Travel video. Peace. Mm -hmm.